Speaking of the State of the Union, uh, a lot of people have noticed that for the first time anyone can remember, the First Lady arrived at the State of the Union without her husband. So the state of our union is strong. The state of their union, <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> people are even speculating that Melania may have been sending a feminist message with her all-white pantsuit, a color favored by those honoring suffragettes and Hillary Clinton. Oh, snap! <laughs> Dressing... Dressing like Hillary, the only thing worse would be to show up dressed as Obama's birth certificate. <laughs> now, the rumor mill, the rumor mill churning about Melania's anger comes on the heels of revelations of Stormy Daniels and the hush money. Apparently, the reports of a payoff blindsided the first lady. Not the sex, the payoff. <laughs> he never pays anyone. Really? How could she be blindsided? I mean, just listen to Trump's wedding vows. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Well, he's honest. The man is honest. <laughs> As the day is long. <laughs> right after the stormy hit, Melania abruptly decided not to accompany the president to Davos, Switzerland. The official reason given was scheduling and logistical issues. Of course, scheduling issues. She couldn't go with him because hell hadn't frozen over yet. <laughs> Instead, she flew to Mar-a-Lago and relaxed at the spa. Yeah, she got a Japanese massage. I think it's called She Hates You. <laughs> so... So, is, is Melania Trump at the end of her rope? Let's go straight to the source. Please welcome live via satellite, First Lady Melania Trump. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank, thank you for coming on the show. How are you feeling, Madam First Lady? My life is ocean of loneliness. Wait, I'm sorry, what? I was just promoting my new fragrance, Ocean of Loneliness. <laughs> it is a decadent bouquet of gardenia blossoms with a hint of, I live in a prison of my own making. Now... <laughs> be careful, ma'am. Now... Madam... Madam First Lady, last night's outfit, was that outfit in support of women's rights and suffrage? Yes. Every day, I'm suffraging. <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm sorry. I, I should be clear. Suffrage means voting. I know. I cannot wait to vote in next presidential election. For your husband? Oh, of course. Unless I have scheduling and logistical issues. Hey, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> you were great on laughing, by the way. <laughs> How did you like your husband's speech last night? Oh, I was glued to my seat. Oh, you, you enjoyed it? No, no, Stephen, I was literally glued <laughs> to my seat. That General Kelly is quite the prankster, right? <laughs> I laugh because he's true. So, so there, there's, there's no reality to these rumors about your husband's infidelity. It's fake news, Stephen. I do not believe my husband slept with this woman's spanky banjos. It, it, I think he means Stormy Daniels. Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, what kind of disgusting pig monster would cheat on his wife with porn star right after she gave birth and then pay hush money to this cranky ponchos? Well, that, that does sound terrible. Oh, if it were true. But everyone here thinks it's a lie. And I agree. Hashtag me too. Well... Ma'am, for someone who doesn't think any of this is true, you, you do seem a little upset. Who's upset? I'm not upset. Are you upset? I'm not upset. <laughs> In fact, if my husband's watching, I have a message. Donald, time's up. Wait. What? What? 
What do you mean? What? 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 Time's up on your cheeseburger. It's ready. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Oh, oh, that's nice. Did he get you a gift? Oh, yes, he got me a lovely hat. Well, he paid for it, but uh, I picked it out. Melania Trump, everybody. Madam First Lady, thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back with Rose.